That was uh, USQ, USQ back. I can uh, hear the the blues influence, uh, like in the like in the in the music, like yeah, in sure. the in the playing, like this, uh, like the bass line, like a, kind of a walking blues. Uh, so the blues is uh, like one of your uh, uh, yeah, one of my main influence, sure. influence, like folk and, and Gaelic. Yeah? So you've been. Um, uh, what you've been listening to when you grow up, like different thing or uh, you had a classic uh, um, we education? We were sort of all over the place. My mom was very um, influential <laughs> in the sense that she had the CD player and was in control of most of the music that we okay. heard. So we heard a lot of, you know, like 60s folk and um, stuff like that. And then also my grandfather um, on my dad's side was a conductor, composer, arranger, and he worked with Frank Sinatra and Nat King Cole and things. So I have sort of a, uh, my grandma on that side as well was a blues singer. So I definitely have the, the reminiscent blues um, that sort of would drift through our musical hearing at that time from old recordings of theirs. It's a nice thing to, to grow up in a musical family, no? Probably. Very nice. I I don't know how it feels like because mine wasn't <laughs> at all. Oh, no. No. <laughs> so, I mean, it doesn't matter. No, I'm like, well, no, probably it should be nice to be surrounded by music and it's musician. Really nice. no? Yeah, yeah, it's good for uh, uh, let's say the the harmony of your soul. No, to tune up your soul like more like harmonic with with nature. Um, you want to play another song? Uh, you sure. just you just play the title track. We we'll ask you back actually. Right mm -hmm. now we are on the video as well. Let's show okay, here it is. the <laughs> album. We we'll ask you back. You can find it. Uh, I highly recommend the band ca Bandcamp. Bandcamp is great to to buy and support artist music because oh, look, she looks like you in, <laughs> in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because you know Bandcamp actually as a platform is the one who gave artists more of the revenue, more you know, control, yeah. more, uh, more control and uh, like takes less uh, like cut mm -hmm. of the of the money you can make For sure. out of. Um, uh, and then I'm gonna ask you. I mean, I don't know if I should ask you this now or that you wanna play something now. But um, uh, you know, once you put out an album, like you just ch kind of things shift, no? Because oh, you yeah. are not just a musician and like some writer. Now you have to think about like booking and uh, oh, promoting. Yeah, it's it's uh, <laughs> all this thing. It's uh, like an avalanche of like so much thing to do, no? Like so much work. Oh, it's so overwhelming. I'm yeah. totally just like bogged down in it right now. I have no idea what I'm doing, but. <laughs> but you know, you're doing like, uh, uh, you had uh, a record release, a couple of record releases, uh, mm -hmm. uh, one in the city, one in Half Moon Bay where you're where you living these days. Mm -hmm. And you have some shows coming up too. So, I do, yeah. yeah. I've got one coming up this coming Thursday, which is the uh, 22nd. I guess that's two days from now. Okay. <laughs> and it's um, at Inclusions. It's a an art gallery in Bernal Heights. Okay. And that's from 7 to 9. I'll be playing with Cassie Levi and Ali Oswalt. And then um, I'm going to be playing in uh, at Hotel Utah later in April um, on the 1st, um, supporting uh, Christina LaRocca. And then on the 6th at El Rio, supporting my friend Cassie Levi, who will be doing her album launch. So. Okay, cool. So even uh, like um, 
the the other part, no, the other aspect, the uh -huh. uh, more like a kind of business of uh, aspect or like impresario, no, like uh, aspect is not taking much of your uh, creativity. No? That's the point. Like otherwise, you know, we can um, lose, like put on the side our creative part to take care of this this thing. No, like yeah. you know, like setting up gigs and. Uh, and stuff yeah that's the that's the not fun part <laughs> that's not the fun part but you know it's kind of like uh you have to do it no Maybe you do it's important yeah. all right so <laughs> <laughs> sorry for this, this little digression you want to play no. another song okay. yeah sure i'll play um a song called it ain't working all right ella arp live bff.fm oh let me fix that one this yeah. is a new string This is the the custom made ARP mm -hmm. travel size that fits the overhead on an airplane. Yep. All right. And even fancy custom harps still have new strings, and new strings are always going to sound better. Yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> it's. it's, it's uh,
Ella Arp live, uh, BFF FM Espresso Sesh. Uh, I was uh, like thinking about the, the the spectrum, the tonality spectrum of the Arp. It's nice. It's kind of like having a like a little piano with you, no? All the very time. Very similar to piano. Yeah, very similar to piano, but more like um, uh, kind of like deeper than a guitar for the bass sound, probably. Yeah, and you can't you can't really get a strumming pattern easily. It's hard to get it's rhythm like without plucking, bass plucking, lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah plugging. I mean, it's uh, more like a like a portable piano. No? I see. Mm -hmm. um, it's not much. Uh, uh, there are not many art players these days. Um, I think there's more than people think there are, but there aren't very many. I think there's okay. a lot of there's many more living room harp players, and okay. there are people that perform, that, uh, that perform and okay. go out. Yeah. Are you been always been a performer, or something that came uh, like uh, uh, lately? I've always played. Um, I've always played the harp. Singing okay. is, a, is yeah. a recent phenomenon for me in the last ten years. Okay. Um, but I've. I think I played my first wedding when I was twelve on the harp with my sister. Oh wow! Okay. So I've I've done that, but. Singing is a whole other, whole other level that's been, that, that's what really there. freaks me out. Okay. <laughs> but you know, like you also sing your own song, so you're, yeah. you, you're a songwriter, so. Yeah, you're, you're bearing it all. I, I have this, yeah. I'm trying to get over it now, but I have this, this internal feeling that, you know, if somebody doesn't like your song, then they don't like you. It's like, that's yeah. silly. But um, that's something, yeah. No, I mean, it's, uh, you never know, because uh, actually somebody said that we spend like a lifetime trying to develop an idea of ourselves, uh -huh. but we all probably need another lifetime to understand what other people think about ourselves. Yeah. So, you know, like, uh, at the end of the day, like, you know, like, don't, don't even think about it. Don't let this thing let you down, no? Because right. You're never gonna. I mean, everybody's different, and everybody has this mi their mindset. So, we cannot be. We cannot like be liked by everyone at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's normal, no. And uh, you cannot always. I mean, even if you are like very like populist and try to be mm -hmm. like to the masses, appeal to the masses. Still, you know, it cannot be. So yeah. try to like uh, focus on uh, the people that appreciate the. the People that like resonate with your music. Let's put it in Absolutely. other terms, no? Because you know, music is always um, uh, you need to find when you when you you are like a sending a signal, mm -hmm. and like with music, no? Let's put it like kind of like formal this way, no? You're sending a signal. If uh, so somebody reacts, you find an antenna that catch that sin signal uh -huh. is good. If not, you are still sending a signal, no? So right. for sure. And also, you know, music is so weird because sometimes there are uh, artists that are completely forgotten. And uh, then, th so, th like, my point is there is no e expiration date. Mm -hmm. So you are releasing this now in 20, uh, 2018. Mm -hmm. But probably, you know, like, you'll never know when it's going to be picked up or probably it's going to take, uh, probably you're going to release uh, other album in the next year. And mm -hmm. this one is going to be, all, like, look like, oh, there was the... So you never know. You never the, know. As a as an artist, as a composer, as a music maker, just make music. You know, that's the, <laughs> only, <laughs> the only thing. Yeah, because the other thing are like uh, I mean, I don't even know. I have no idea. I have no idea about the music in industry. Um, it's there are some like logics that they are completely out of like they are not ma not making sense in my mind. Like why this music is that popular, but you know. So I don't even care. No. <laughs> Yeah, because there are different layers. You no, know? there are different like circles. In, there is a mainstream, mm -hmm. but also we, which one? What is the mainstream? You no, know? so there are different mainstream. Yeah. There are different like circles and like group of people there. You know, so we make music, and music is free. You no, know? like music is. Um, I mean, it's free. The, it's something that uh, like among the um, lot of music that is out there, there is something that resonates to you, and there's something mm -hmm. that not. So like, yeah, and sure. you know, there are millions of billions of people out there so some of them are bound to like it huh? <laughs> some of them are bound to like it right yeah i mean uh, more, more than some of them you know like <laughs> i mean so far how, how is the how is the reaction so far you've been uh, presenting your your album no with some performances like yeah, perform performances have been have been really good yeah so you know yeah, so just focus on that <laughs> like you know like even though you know there is um, um I mean, I don't know if it happened. I don't know if probably it's gonna, not going to be nice, but if, it's, if there is somebody in the audience that they don't like the music, uh, probably they can be like constructive at some point, no? Yeah, I guess so. Maybe, <laughs> you know, like, you know, it's not the case, no? So uh -huh. we, we don't, um, we say this in, Ita in Italian, like, don't get wet before it rains. So don't, <laughs> don't even think about that. So, you know, like, 
yeah so just play the music for for the the, the people that like listen to it yeah? i will do that yeah you know <laughs> <laughs> and you know it's a lot of uh, i see that it's a lot of um uh, uh, there's a lot of work like a lot of uh, a lot of work uh, like mental like physical work and mm -hmm. also like it's expensive like to make a record and yeah. to push it so you know just this is um uh it's it's just a beginning no worries uh, no worries <laughs> it's just a beginning hey. so, so you know it's the gateway the gateway yeah <laughs> <laughs> the gateway album <laughs> the gateway album so um, oh. yeah and also you know it's something that i probably you know is like you say it's like 10 years of songwriting no mm -hmm. so you probably like you had something to um put out to work on new stuff no but are Definitely. you working on new stuff these days for example yeah i've written um three new songs in the last couple of months which is yeah good for me so yeah <laughs> but also because probably you don't have to think about the no i mean the old in brackets yeah. songs no because they are already like yeah they're kind oh, of they're there no they they're there so yes otherwise we like i mean can be an endless mm -hmm. thing to refine a song and find like little bridges and variation and uh, like fine-tuning no but at mm -hmm. some point you have to move on no and sure. uh, otherwise you get stuck in that uh, trying yeah. to to find a perfection that it can be perfect for you but everybody's listening everybody listening in a different yeah. way so so i'm glad to hear that in these months uh, that, that this record has been out and mm -hmm. g going it for on its own yeah, it's doing its own thing. Yeah, it's something, <laughs> you know, like you don't have to think about that and you can f focus on the new songs. Focus on new songs, yeah. which is always a good thing. So let's talk about this. I'm not, not going to ask you to perform new songs, no? Oh, well, well, I've been playing them out anyway, so they're... Okay. I, I mean, sort of play, may, write them and then play them and then, I mean, I guess I, I should probably start recording them and everything. I guess I'm working on another yeah. album. I guess that's what happens. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, how, no, that's, how, that's how it goes. No, you know, that's uh, uh, like, you know, music is... Um, it's uh, like your way to express yourself, no? Totally. So are you gonna do uh, stop expressing yourself? Because no, no that was uh, terrible. <laughs> uh, no, it's uh, something that comes from inside. No, it's right. like a need. So mm -hmm. yeah. probably you're gonna perform some new songs too. No? I think I I, might, I may do that. A may bit. Do that. Okay. <laughs> uh, you wanna play some some other songs? Sure. Yeah, from the all from the al from this album or from new, some new material. I'll play one more uh, from the album. It's called Snowbird. All right, Snowbird, LR Live BFF to the fan.
fucking nice. Thank Snow, you. Snowbear Live. Ella Arp, BFF.FM. <laughs> While you tune the Arp, um, let me ask you something. So, um, you mostly perform as a solo artist, no? But I see they have some other musician mm -hmm. in this record, no? Uh, are you considering for the future to make a, uh, to have a, like a little um, uh, band to perform with you, or you prefer you prefer just to perform by yourself and use other musician use? I mean, in, for recording session musician or friends. Uh, Mm -hmm. I'm definitely not opposed to the idea okay. of playing with other people. I just I have the unfortunate situation of having, you know, met so many music people 5,000 miles away <laughs> in oh, Scotland. Yeah. And so um, it's annoying that most of the people I know that play music are really far away. Okay. So like the album, on the album, the, the cello that's on um, the second to last track, Changeling, is my friend Kirsty, who I went to college with over there all four years. We went to the music academy and to the the Gallup College together okay. and she's a fantastic cello cellist and um, she recorded that in her flat in Tobermory and sent it through the magical interwebs and it okay. ended up being on the album which was really cool but you can't really do that for gigs and stuff so uh, yeah uh, even though if you do like live streaming and stuff like that I like, know it's not it's gonna so maybe, work. maybe it'll work out maybe fine no, but I, better better you know like yeah the being in the same room you no know, mm -hmm. like in the same place in the same stage yeah but definitely if I could if I could um, find the right people and get the right sound, I'd be I think that'd be really cool. Okay, so you mentioned again that Sc Scotland, uh, so your uh, your college years, mm -hmm. the formative years. So even like uh, uh, even you like to collaborate more with people that had that kind of like musical imprint, no? I mean, kind of. Uh, so they. The intersection of the the mm -hmm. genre that you are playing, uh, besides the, the the blues, the the American folk, no, the mm -hmm. but you have like this uh, Gaelic, this uh, Celtic, mm -hmm. like influence that is there, no, and it's kind of it's kind of predominant, no, uh, not predominant, but you know it's it's a it's an element in between, no, you can tell this like this ingredient Definitely. that is not like taking over, but it's there, no, mm -hmm. so. I don't know. Are you planning to go <laughs> to Scotland <laughs> again to f to f to find out uh, other inspiration or um, or uh, where you where you live in these days is inspirational enough? I feel pretty inspired where okay. I'm at right now. Okay. It's um I, I recently moved out of my previous situation. I was living in a tiny house that I had built and I lived in it for a little over five years. I moved out of that in October and now I live in a house gasp <laughs> but um there's it, there's a really nice sunny window that i sit in and do my work okay. in the daytime with internet i didn't used to have internet it's very exciting i didn't used to have a flushing toilet or <laughs> uh. indoor plumbing or a lot of other things but um the the light that comes through the window is really it's really beautiful and i find the space very conducive to creativity and songwriting and so i've written three songs in that space so far and they've been cool it's been a lot of fun yeah because you know like um uh, uh, Probably you find out that like a nice mix between uh, like where you are from that is uh, is way hotter than here and like Scotland, probably, you know? like the Bay Area, the South Bay, probably has this uh, kind of right temperature. You know? mm -hmm. For you, <laughs> it works right. better. <laughs> it's nicer. Okay. But I certainly wouldn't be opposed to going back, and I now can take the harp with me, so that will open up a whole range of other yeah. possibilities. Yeah, because you know, like I mean, it's been uh, it's been a minute now. No, you you mm -hmm. came back. I, yeah, I came back ages ago in 2011. I went back last April, or maybe it was the year before. Oh, I can't remember. Okay. But I went back um, at one point, and okay. it was lovely to be back, but I wasn't there for nearly long enough. I was only there for, I think, six days or so. Okay. I mean, just, I'm just guessing, you know, like, mm -hmm. because uh, that looks like um, something that is part of your music, you know? Mm -hmm. So probably you have to... Uh, every now and then, just go back and uh, and see what's up, no, and then come here back inspired. And, Definitely and business trip, <laughs> business, business inspiration trip. Business inspiration <laughs> trip. No, 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 you know. All right, you want to perform another song? Sure. And or we can play something out of the like we mentioned, like other musicians. You want to play something out of the album? You want to perform it? Um, well, I would play Changeling, but I think it sounds a lot better on the album because there's harmonies and my friend Kirsty playing the cello. Okay. And then there's also some electric guitar on that, so maybe 
Yeah, let's play. Let's play. play so they hear the full range of it. <laughs> yeah, actually, let's let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, let's play it out of the city. Oh wow, we're getting fancy. Yes, you know this beautiful city you can get on the Bandcamp. Band um, you can buy the physical CD on my album. Uh, my album on my website. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <You're> like, <"What?" laughs> you can buy you can buy my album on you my can album. It's a meta. It's, it's a meta. No, it's a, it's a meta. <laughs> yeah, if you go to lhart.com under the um, shop tab. And there is also some um, uh, digital download and stuff yeah. like that. So mm -hmm. we're gonna play Changeling featuring uh, uh, Christy Christy Blackwell on cello on cello uh, number seven. And you're listening to El Arp uh, the Espresso Session, best frequencies forever.
and this was uh, Changeling. We heard also the, the cello, beautiful, beautiful melodies, beautiful army. Actually, we got Nisha here, how beautiful and hunting. Ciao, Nisha. Thank you for listening to us and supporting us every week or almost every week. So, before we were on, with the mics, when the mics were off, I was asking you how was your studio experience, no? Mm -hmm. As because, you know, it was the first time in the studio, mm -hmm. uh, probably uh, you were ner nervous, were you nervous? Oh, were, yeah. you, were you, <laughs> were you, was there like a, a baptism of fire for you, like going to the studio the first time like that and, uh, you know, it was kind of like... Um, I don't have words, I don't feel very good, <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, like a kind of like cathartic, cathartic thing, no? So, okay, I'm, I'm scared, but this is, I'm going to the studio and now next time I'm going to go to the studio, it's going to be easier. Mm -hmm. Kind of that. Kind of. I pretty much just panicked the whole time. <laughs> you panicked? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe not the whole time, but probably like most of the whole time, yeah. I was really nervous about it for some yeah. reason. In the beginning, I started out like recording one song a month because I had to like build up the courage to go in there. I was all freaked out. My recording engineer one time was like, he's like, do you, do you like smoke or drink or anything? And I was like, no. He's like, well, maybe you should. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, just to oh, loosen up a little bit. Maybe, maybe I should. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you were telling me that uh, the first studio where you recorded the, the material was mm -hmm. like uh, very close to your house. So, so close, yeah. like five minutes, four minutes away from my so house. So you take you took uh, you took advantage of that. You never I did. you never go. <laughs> no, <laughs> I just didn't go. I was like, oh, I got time. And then they yeah. a few months later, you know, they they closed. So then I had to drive to San Jose. But once I had to drive an hour away, I got a lot more serious about it. So. Yeah. I don't know, whatever if that's good or bad, but <laughs> and also you 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 were telling me you had no you were not working with a producer, so mostly you were in control of uh, mm -hmm. the direction the music were were going, no? Yeah, which was good and bad. Okay. <laughs> I got some really good, you know, feedback and sort of um idea bouncing off of my recording engineer Deegan Adams. He was really helpful about a lot of stuff, but it was just kind of, you know, just us working on it and I take I things mean, back and listen and listen and listen and then be like, oh, I don't like this and go change it. And then but, you know, there is um, uh, probably, you know, a producer is useful because it's um, less attached, uh, emotionally yeah, attached. Yeah, I think that's a really good thing, actually. Yeah, on the music. <laughs> so you can, uh, like, kind of see on the ter like third person, this is your music. I'm an external person. I'm not emotionally attached to it. Mm -hmm. And it's like a product uh, sorry for right. yeah no, you know it's exactly it is, what no? it is yeah so you know a, a third person can uh, like be more detached and uh, direct the, the, yeah. the thing because it's like the story of uh, we are actor mm -hmm. in, in in on stage so we don't see the whole stage because we are part of it right like sure. somebody who's in the audience can see it, the whole thing no mm. so like a producer can be helpful in that but you know at the same time probably you were freaking out that much like you said because you were not working with a producer no yeah but you know at the same time gave gave you like creative uh, like direction on that yeah totally so you can, could do an experiment because you know at the end of the day is your album so right. you you want to be com comfortable with it mm -hmm. uh, uh, the way it sounds and the way it is so it's mostly your work no yeah so probably the, takes more time, longer time with that, because you have to detach yourself and probably yeah. go to the studio once a month, even if it's that close. Yeah, but that's yeah. terrible. No, I mean, it's, uh, that's how it goes, you know, like, uh, and probably for the next, uh, next time you're gonna go to the studio, you're gonna be, like, way more confident. Yes, like, I think so, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll just drink this time, I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just be yourself, you know, just be yourself and things, uh, it comes, <clears throat> no, it comes, yeah. and especially you know, like I believe in that. No, like more we we repeat stuff, more we are confident with it. Yeah. And uh, so, like the practice in uh, like in music. Yeah. You you practice a song, and when you're gonna perform it, you will still freak out a little bit, but you you already you got it. No, so it's easier, so you get more confident. Yeah. Confidence. No. Uh, can you play one of the the new songs? Yes. Yes, I can. <laughs> All right, let's, and also introduce us, introduce that to us, please. Okay. Like, how, where it came from, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, just where it came from, like the inspiration. And let's keep it like that. 
Sure. Don't give too many details. <laughs> <laughs> so this one's called Sunshine and Roses, and um, I actually wrote it. Um, I got inspired to write it because I did a, an audition for America's Got Talent in January, which was hilarious. Oh, yeah? Um, and unsuccessful, as you can imagine. I was there for five and a half hours. I played for 90 whole seconds. It was very exciting. Oh, yeah. But um, I was trying to figure out what song I was going to play for the auditions, and um, I thought it would be funny if I could write a song that sounded really happy, but that wasn't because, I mean, I don't know. I only write depressing music, I guess. And you seem like you might expect to hear happy music on the harp or something. I don't know. So I wrote it just sort of like the, you know, it sounds happy when it's on. Okay. That's pretty much it. <laughs> cool. And it's called Sunshine and Roses. Sunshine and Roses. Live BFF.FM, El Arp. Sunshine and Roses, <laughs> uh, unpublished song, um, say like a sneak preview of uh, something that Ella is working on. And that was um, uh, the anecdote. So you, you performed this song. I performed 90 seconds 90 in the song. Seconds <laughs> of the song. It's one and a half minutes. That's a nice idea. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, come on. It's, uh, Not very much. So you, you've been waiting five hours to perform 90 seconds? Yeah, yeah, I waited about five hours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a that's a show business, you know. Like yeah, I guess works, so. Like it's like a meat, like grinder, you know. Yep. Like people <laughs> waiting much. for like five hours to like, I know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of we are living in a weird world. Uh, weird times. Weird, weird times. times <laughs> weird times. You know. Anyways, um, so you're gonna perform. Let's say again, uh, people listening from San Francisco, you're gonna perform in Bernal Heights this, in Bernal Heights, yeah. this Thursday, mm -hmm. two, in two days. In two days, yeah. In two days. The, the gallery is called Inclusions. It's on Cortland. Okay. And it's uh, from 7 to 9. So, okay. Um, and I'm playing with Ali Oswalt and Cassie Levi. 
Okay, are they performers as well, or musicians who play yeah. with you? Yeah. Um, performers. Ali is, uh, she is a singer, songwriter, guitarist. Okay. And she's fantastic. And Cassie is a ukulele um, singer, songwriter, and she's, she plays with a drummer named Joanna Tice, and so they play together. Okay. And um, they both played at my, <clears throat> or all three of those girls played at my album launches with me. Okay. And Cassie's just getting ready to release her um, album as well. Okay. And just to plug her, because it's awesome. Yesterday, I believe her single, her first single, came out. It's called "Let It Burn," and it's really good. Cool, yeah. Uh, and you know, if you want to bring a, yeah, you can do it. No? Uh, eventually, one day, to espresso sesh. Cool. Okay. So this fri this uh, Thursday, seven to nine uh, at the in Berlin, the gallery is called again. It's called Inclusions. Inclusions Galleries. Mm -hmm. Okay, Inclusion Gallery. Okay. And then you have some shows in uh, April. Uh, April 1st. April. Mm -hmm. April 1st is... Uh, Hotel Utah. Hotel Utah, okay. And then you have uh, April... 6th. 6th, <laughs> okay. Yeah, cool. Um, okay. Great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, another... Se I mean, I would like to let you play again, mm -hmm. but also we can do, like, give you, like, a break and play some recorded music. Uh, do you have anything that, that you brought anything that was um, influential for you? Um, yeah. uh, some music that uh, make you want to play uh, the harp or make you want to be a singer songwriter? Um, yeah, I Made guess you. most of it is probably not that. Um, I mean, there's a lot of old stuff, but um, recently. Music has no expiration date, huh? so, <laughs> right? You know, like. Yeah, um, I've been really um, listening to a lot of music recently that has been inspiring my. Um, songwriting these days, I guess. So I could, I could pull it up. I don't know if it's easiest to pull it up on. on here yeah, we something. can, we can do it. We can do it. You can just plug in right here, cool. and uh, we'll magically come out the mixer. Nice. The ma the ma the magic in music, you know, like the ele electricity yeah. that brings out uh, emotions. Yeah. All right, yes. just pull the volume all the way up and introduce the song real quick, please. Okay. Um, so this one's called 3 a.m. Oops, <laughs> I got to start playing. Okay. It's called 3 a.m. by Gregory Alan Isakov, and I love it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Well, it's 3 a.m. again, like it always seems to be. Driving northbound, driving homeward, driving winds, driving me. It just seems so funny. I always end up here, walking outside in a storm while looking way up past the tree line. It's been some time. Give me darkness when I'm dreaming. Like when I'm leaving, give me shoes that weren't made for standing. Give me tree line, give me big sky, give me snowbound, give me rain clouds, give me a bedtime just sometime. Now you're talking in my room, there ain't nobody here, cause I've been driving like a trucker. I've been Wearing through the gears and training like a soldier, I've been burning through this sorrow. The only talking lately is a background radio. You are my friend. softer than I did back then Well, the night I think 
think is darker than we can really say. And God's been living in that ocean, sending us all the big waves. And I wish I was a sailor so I could know just how to trust. Maybe I could bring some grace back home to dry land for each of us. Say what you see, you say it so well. Gregory Allen Isakov, uh, I can see why you picked as um, inspiration, like uh, inspirational music. Mm -hmm. um, I can see the the intimacy of the recording and mm -hmm. uh, the same kind of like. Um, um, I was telling you before, I know, I know 100% a little, I'm missing the words, <laughs> but you know, I can see like the, the tuning, the, mm -hmm. like the, like the, how it like the tuning like mm -hmm. how it sound mm -hmm. is you go like the intimacy of the recording yeah. the you know it's, it's very close mm -hmm. it's very like your music you know like yeah, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> he's an excellent lyr uh, excellent lyricist as well his words are really okay. amazing i don't know how he gets so many of them <laughs> it's inspired you know, and um write it out uh, probably it's a, it's a good thing to carry a, like a pen or a pencil mm -hmm. all the time with you and uh, when you have some idea like lay it down and uh, like write it down and uh, come back to it, to them at some point huh? mm -hmm. but it's not uh, it's not my style you know as, a, as an Italian <laughs> I'm a foreigner so I focus more on the music than on the words for now but mm -hmm. I will eventually in a, in a few days <laughs> so in a few weeks or months or so um, <coughs> so you just came back from uh, South Southern California, mm -hmm. you, where you were like performing. You had some like three performances in three days, something like that, no? Yeah, I went down to visit. Uh, my sister was coming into town, so I went back to my hometown where my mom lives, which is called Fraser Park. It's um, in Southern California. It's at the top of the Grapevine. Um, okay. And it's just it snows up there, so it's at like six thousand feet where my mom lives, and um, I got a mention in the local newspaper so um, people got to hear about it which is really great and I played um, on Thursday evening at a little cafe in Pine Mountain Club which is a little bit um, uh, maybe a 20 minute drive or so away from Fraser Park and um, it was a cute little cafe that was pretty packed actually but it was great and then I played at the in the same little area of um, Pine Mountain Club in their clubhouse which was more of like a bar setting so people were a little louder but sometimes that's fun too because you don't have to care as much yeah. <laughs> and then um the last day on saturday i played at the fraser park library from one to two so it was an afternoon thing and there were almost 80 people there i think it was really lovely and they were all quiet cool. <laughs> yeah library is a good place to play i should remember that for the future <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because you know, art music, uh, uh, acoustic especially, no? mm -hmm. uh, needs. Um, uh, I mean, uh, sometimes the music speaks for itself, so make people shut up. No? Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, we need some uh, silence. I know mm -hmm. because there's some chit chat on top of it. It's not. But you know, also, it's also good to play like in bars and like in um, not proper 
uh, venues mm -hmm. for the the kind of music you play, mm -hmm. just to test it out and see and see. Or probably you play Sunshine and Roses three times in a row. That <laughs> 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 is happy. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, talking about performing, mm -hmm. you want to perform another song? That's fine. All right. What are you What are you gonna play for us? I'm going to play. Um song from the album that's called Dirty Money and I made a music video of this one last year so if you look on YouTube you can find it okay El Arp Dirty Money it's gonna perform live here at BFF.fm but there is the video out on YouTube so I just look up for it afterwards take you keep taking from me But if you take all the money The lot will go empty Tell Go on, tell me you tried But if you take all the water The wells are gonna, gonna go dry
there was uh, dirty money out of the um, USQ back Ella Arp. You can uh, buy it on Bandcamp on a <coughs> website elarp.com mm-hmm. uh, I saw you were also like bending a, a knot with the with the yeah. with the with the key. Yeah, these are yeah. So um, if anybody can see, but these guys, uh, yeah. these lovers. Um, okay. So it raises it by a half step, so you okay. can. Okay. You can kind of. Okay, you can do the bending. Okay. Kind of do a little bit with that. Cool. Uh, so this music, uh, the the song that she just performed is in uh, this album. Uh, actually, the song number six out mm-hmm. of eight. LARP.com, there is a shop tab, you can click and get it, uh, support uh, uh, local artists, uh, support, uh, uh, we always try to give, uh, to, to tell our listeners to support uh, like reality, they are local for you, they are, like this radio station is uh, listener support, all the artists that come here mostly need support we mm-hmm. all need support you know like we need support we need love like you know like or just like uh, uh like a good word or like a little donation you know like so um, it's good it's good for uh, the community it's good for keeping like artists uh, making their or uh, their arts otherwise you know you have to go to uh, go to work all the time and uh, no no produce any any art so you know please support please support please donate if you're listening to bff there is a donate donation button uh if you're watching this uh, if you are watching us live on the facebooks there is a <laughs> donate button and uh, doesn't matter doesn't matter where you're listening from but go to lr.com and support the artist by the cds or the digital download if you don't want to deal with physical stuff Mm-hmm. And it is on iTunes and Spotify. Yeah. If anybody wants to do it that way. And also, you know, the some songs, uh, three of, the, of your songs, are gonna end up in the Espresso Sesh Spotify playlist. That uh, I don't think if you look up, you can find it. But if you go to the BFF page, uh, you you find the link to listen to it. It's featuring the music from uh, the artists that been guest in this studio, physically in this studio. In the past two years so you know there's a nice variety of music from mostly local and uh, so you know support local music support local business and um, support local artists okay uh, besides let's <laughs> let's um, go to the next ch- next chapter <laughs> I'm not a good vendor for this but you know like I say this because I'm tr- I have some nice supporter that support the show and the, the station. We are here, it's four years so far. That's so great. We can pay the rent and pay the cost of, um, of having a, like a fu- fully functional mm-hmm. radio station, thanks mostly to the supporters. So, so you so know, great. yeah, uh, big up. You know who you are, <laughs> who know you, who you are. Okay, Ellen, uh, it's, uh, you are here, you've been performing some li- some song. Are you tired of performing or you want to play another one? I can I can play, I can not play, whatever you want. It's easy yeah. for me to play. Yeah, I mean, you are ready, you know, the, the RP is ready. Yeah. You, you well, have also, you, <laughs> you have your seat that is perfect, uh, yeah. like, uh, designed for performance <laughs> uh, needs. So you're good to go. What, are, what do you want to, what do you want to play? I think I'll play another, um, I'll play another new one. Okay. Um, this one's called Better. Better. Come on. All right. LR live. BFF to the fan, better. Did you build that old house to keep me away? Did you build it far and build it wide to hide yourself inside? Taking down the paint 
Can't you feel that wall to keep me away? Does it keep out all your colors but your black and brown and blue and gray? Is it better, better this way? Do you feel better? LRP performing unreleased song. This was called Better. Nice. So this is um, out of the, the new window in the sunshine in the new yeah. place. No? <laughs> so the, the new inspiration yeah. place. The, the night. Uh, it's good to have uh, some, po some places that are like that where you can sit down and um, be inspired and be creative. No? Sure. It's very inspiring. It's really beautiful, which is funny because it. All the music is really miserable, but I'm really happy. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, Living there. It's not miserable at all. Uh, miserable, probably like uh, why you say that? Like for, well, in the, it's not very the, happy. <laughs> it's like a little sad, yeah. Uh, but you know, like blues, for example, mm -hmm. uh, you sing you sing the blues to to feel better, no? Yes, you, exactly. So that's a, that's how it goes, no? So you demonize mm -hmm. like the pain away. So you sing the pain and you feel better. So there you go. So I'm helping. I'm helping. <laughs> yeah, I mean also, I mean, um, like let's say depressing music, mm -hmm. like shoegaze or stuff like that. No, like in the rock, in the mm -hmm. in the indie rock. Yeah, uh, it's been like you know this big following, like mm -hmm. emotional punk emo. No, so you know, yeah. like so there is a big uh, there is a big following also for that. You mm -hmm. know, music is. Um, the the, the 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 thing that I love in music is like it suits your feeling. So there is happy yeah. music when you're happy. There is sad music when you need to. Definitely. You know. So yeah. So and also you know probably uh, even your environment. Like you you live more in in, in the nature environment. Mm -hmm. So that's why probably you, your music is stripped down. Is uh, like your even your arrangement. No. Mm -hmm. Even if you have other instruments, you try to keep it like minimal. And focus on like the the, the sounds instead, mm -hmm. like the single sounds of the instruments instead of like the ensemble of yeah. of uh, you know like more instruments together. Mm -hmm. I think it's part of the it's a uh, uh, chief stylistic. I would say in Italian is uh, like your uh, artistic signature, probably you say in English, no. Mm -hmm. So that's the way you that's the way you make music. So don't mm -hmm. don't call it miserable. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <coughs> um, so you know, with this record out, mm -hmm. you are more free. You are making new songs. You are not new recording songs? them yet, no? Not yet. But what's your, uh, uh, let's say, like short, uh, medium term uh, projects? Like, what are you doing? What are you gonna do in? Uh, what do you have in uh, in mind? Like promote this album more. Mm -hmm. In the meanwhile, like find some time for studio. Yeah, I'd like to try and do as much promotion for the album as I can, which probably entails playing places. So I'm trying to I'm trying to play as many places as I can. So So if you're listening if, if you want to feature <laughs> LARP, you know, she has a very minimal setup, no? And yeah. uh, can go like from a small venue to to the arena. No? So you sure. know, so you know 
galleries, if house concerts, house concerts, you know, cafes. So if you're listening to that, reach out. Uh, you have an email. Yeah, it's lharp at yahoo.com. Yeah, lharp at yahoo.com or go check out our website, mm-hmm. lharp.com. Uh, time is good for you or it's time like to... Um, yeah, we can go a little longer. A little longer, okay. Uh, you're and listening to Espresso Session. What you hear is what you get. We are doing like... Uh, like an Italian style mm-hmm. after lunch espresso session. We are not drinking espresso, never drink espresso, but you know, it's like, <laughs> it's like that time, you know, we are like chatting, we are like um, listening to music, playing some music, mm-hmm. so you know, that's the, that's the feel. And uh, it's mostly like, it's mostly ad lib, you know, we go with the flow and uh, there is not like a, um, like a program, there is no, we are not following any, any s- uh, schedule, so mm-hmm. we, are, we are doing it like naturally way, so all of that for in this question. Would you like to perform another song? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> Probably, can I, can, I, can I request one song? Yes. Yeah, from the album, actually. The Widow of Glasgow Green. Yes. Yeah, I can do that. please. Live, BFF.FM, LR. <laughs> Tuning in. <coughs> okay. All right. So this is this is a song number five in the album, mm-hmm. and it's called "Widow of Glasgow Green," mm-hmm. and El Arp is performing live BFF.FM. <laughs> Who? 
So this was, you were playing with just one end, the other end was just the... the, the yeah, the other hand's just the for rhythm. Fingers <laughs> nap, yeah. That one's one of the ones where it'd be nice to have other people playing because it's kind of boring. <laughs> uh -huh. But no, it's um, uh, probably because you play this song so many times, you can say, that, well, they're not boring for somebody who's listening for the first time. Uh, all right, uh, Nisha say, I love your sultry, jazzy voice. <laughs> oh, good. At least losing my voice is good for something. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because you say you were in uh, South Korea with your family, you were talking too I much. I talk too much, yeah. Too much. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it happens to me all the time. When I the first summer I came back from Scotland, I was in Scotland from from September to you know August the whole the whole year. And I came back, and for the and it was so bad the whole summer. I could I sounded like eighty times worse, and I was like. I could barely squawk out anything. But because probably you you were not getting the the Scottish accent, so you needed somebody yeah, where, where something. to be more like understandable <laughs> to talk with. Yeah, yeah too quiet. Yeah, no, I mean the Scottish uh, is famous for being like very difficult. To, it's not oh, like yeah. English, you know. No, like, I mean, it's I mean, not it even is British, but it's not really like English. Yeah, it sounds like uh, kind of the accent from Newcastle. It took me months to understand some of my professors. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> but you finally did. No, I mean, eventually, I don't know if I, I, eventually. They let me graduate, so I must have yeah. understood something. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay. Uh, you want to play another song that was inspirational for you? It's 3.33. Sure. To, uh, today you're listening to BFF.FM. LARP. I'm yeah, going to give you some more uh, chord. Okay. LARP live. Performing song out of uh, new album, Who Ask You Back? that you can find uh, lrp.bandcamp.com or lrp.com you have a nice uh, special effect <laughs> you see huh? that's great for esp espresso mm -hmm. session you got all the the latest technology Whew. okay i've got one all right you want to introduce it uh, for us please yes so it's by a band called the weepies and the song's called world spin that spins madly on and this one um, was one of the songs in that summer when I lost my voice. Okay. I couldn't sing any words, so I learned this whole album by just mouthing the words Ooh. along with it. I couldn't <laughs> sing anything. Right. Anyway, it's called World Spins Madly on by the Weepies. All right. The, these were the Weepies, a uh, selection from Ella. Uh, <laughs> it's a... Uh, yes. All right, uh, it's time to thank you, Ella, so much. It's yeah, time to wrap so the much. show up, but stay, uh, stay tuned on BFF.FM because also the Projection Radio Hour is coming in the house. And follow LRP, LRP.com. She has a show in San Francisco in two days. Mm -hmm. On Thursday, uh, in the Be in Bernal Lights, yes. I forget the name of the Inclusions, Inclusions Gallery. Gallery. And uh, Stay tuned with her, lrp.com. Mm -hmm. Support their music, buy the CD or buy the digital files. It's also on Spotify, so if you're listening through the Spotify or uh, Apple Music, all the digital outlets is there. Mm -hmm. So support the independent artists. Thank you so much for being here, for performing songs, even yeah, new absolutely. songs. And uh, I'll try to make it see you on Thursday. Awesome, that'd be all so right. great. All right. Thank you so much Thank for you. listening. Stay tuned. I'm going to play some other stuff. Thank you, Ella, again. And uh, let's actually play some uh, Dorothy Ashby. This song called Taboo. Wild. Wow.